everyone. Nice to see you all. I'm Jeff Teague in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm your Toyota resource. When I first started reviewing Toyotas, there was a series of videos. It was called, Why Buy a Toyota? And it gave several reasons why you may choose to buy a Toyota or represent Toyota. Why not continue that with why buy a RAV4 hybrid? Why buy a RAV4 XSE hybrid? We got one right here. Let's get started. I'm gonna show you key reasons why you might wanna buy one of these things. Oh, can't wait. First things first, and this is a little comical here. We're just kind of making fun here. Peer pressure. Why buy a RAV4 XSE hybrid? Well, because everyone else is. RAV4 hybrid is the best selling Toyota right now. It's the best selling hybrid right now. It overtook Prius. It's better than Highlander hybrid, Camry hybrid, RAV4 Prime. It's better than anything. RAV4 hybrid. So there are a lot of good reasons why you would want to choose it. Why not go with peer pressure? I'm going to be laying out this video in chapter form too. So go to the timeline. If you've seen one part already and you want to skip past that, go to the next part. So we're going to talk about styling. We're going to talk about what makes this unique. We're going to talk about fuel mileage. We're going to talk about cost. We're also going to talk about specifically Blueprint XSE Hybrid with the weather package. If you're interested in this particular one, it is available. You can email me at toyotajeff1 at gmail.com. So we're gonna walk around. If you own a RAV4 Hybrid, you probably know what a great piece of machinery it is. What an excellent road trip vehicle it is. It's probably a great vehicle for the whole entire family. That's, of course, one reason what makes it so popular. It's a five-seater. And the XSC, you'll notice the styling. You'll notice the gloss black accents throughout on the top of the vehicle. The wheels. The accents on the back end. Nice rear end. You'll see them along this side. Yeah, you will. XSC Hybrid is available in four different colors. Blueprint. Blizzard Pearl. Silver Sky Metallic and Magnetic Gray Metallic. It's time for your first look at the XSE interior. And this is one thing that certainly makes it unique and separates it from the other RAV4 hybrid trim levels. We've got soft tex and fabric seats together. And look at that, they've got blue accents, blue stitching. You'll see that theme throughout the cabin. You'll see it here. I see a leather steering wheel. Leather wrapped. I'm a wrapper, I'm a leather wrapper. All right, so see there, got that unique stitching. And then if you wanna get a feel for what the seats feel like, we might have to go with one of our other senses. Listen, stop, collaborate and listen, soft X. So it's got that fabric, that sport fabric insert here. And then we'll look at the back seats and then we're gonna look what it looks like from the back seats so you can get a feel for the cabin. I like to show it from the back side because this is what the passengers see in the back. But it also gives you a feel for the dash, the center console. It also has standard rear vents and rear USB ports. Holla! Okay, so let's take a look here. This has the digital rear view mirror. So instead of a traditional mirror, this one is traditional rear view mirror plus digital. And I'll show you what I mean by that. See, you flip this and then you'll be able to see a different digital view. And we'll get to that a little bit later in the video. I've got a brochure here and I'm gonna show you, of course you could see limited hybrid here and also limited, but let's focus on XSE. We've seen a glimpse of these 18 inch black painted alloy wheels. Look at this here, Sport Tune Independent McPherson Strut Suspension with Stabilizer Bar and Blue Strut. It's got Sport Tune Multi-Link Rear Suspension with Stabilizer Bar. 
So you're gonna feel more one with the road while you're driving it. You're gonna feel like you're in more of a high performance type vehicle in a way. I think it's very smooth and quiet when you drive it as well. Let's just take a look down here. It has the Audio Plus, which is the eight inch touchscreen. You'll see Android Auto, Amazon, Alexa, Apple CarPlay, Sirius XM. It also has Sirius Connect. No, it has Service Connect. What a dummy. Service Connect, Remote Connect. See that Service Connect? It's a 10 year trial. Can send you updates on your car, give you performance and status updates on your vehicle. Soft text trims, seats, eight way power adjustable, four way adjustable passenger side all right here are the option packages you can get there are four main ones this one has the weather package on it heated steering wheel rain sensing wipers de-icer you can get the premium audio so you can really beef up that sound system to jbl speakers nine locations 11 jbl speakers subwoofer amplifier the tech package that's pretty cool a lot of people might want that but notice that to get the tech package, you also have to get the premium package. They go together like rama la ma la ma da diggity ding da dong. All right, panoramic glass roof too. Let's take a look at the front end. I'm also gonna turn on the lights just so you can see what we've got starting off. Okay, so we've got LED headlights, we've got LED daytime running lights, we have halogen bulb fog lights, but we do have fog lights at least. You'll see that it has a gray accented front bumper along with the dark gray, sort of similar in color and shade, hexagonal front grille here. This has Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 and it also works with a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine combined with electric motors to give you 219 horsepower. So that's pretty significant. It's more than the gasoline version, which gives you 203 horsepower. Let's take a look a little closer. First things first, I see soundproofing material here. I see a prop rod here. I see the engine. Basically the engine's always gonna be over on the passenger side. And then the electric motor components are gonna be on the driver's side. This is a continuously variable transmission, electronically controlled. It has an on-demand all-wheel drive system. So you ask what on-demand all-wheel drive system means? Well, imagine it drives like a front-wheel drive vehicle. On days like today where it's dry, no wetness, no moisture, no anything, no snow, no mud, no sand, no rain. I sound like a postman. It's not gonna stop me from delivering the mail. It's also not gonna stop me from delivering information about this on-demand all-wheel drive system. When the car detects slippage or loss of traction, it's gonna send additional power to the back wheels. So then it's gonna operate as an all-wheel drive and all of the wheels will be turning. So that's something that would be significant because now you can take it in places where you might have been a little bit nervous to take it before. Huge benefit here. And then we've got different driving modes. We've got sport mode, better acceleration. We've got eco, better gas mileage. We've got normal mode. And then there's trail mode that optimizes traction, maybe on a surface like this right here when I'm driving in the grass. I came up here because I can. I came up here because I can. I came up here because I can, because I can use that trail mode. Whew. Take it on the grass. Where else are you gonna take this? Heidi ho neighbor, if you're gonna be looking for the trail mode and the other modes I told you about, well, you're gonna find it right here by the shifter. And it's so easy because you're just going to turn this knob to the setting that you want. You'll push it down for normal, turn it to the right for sport, left for eco and you'll push trail for trail see that right now we're in trail mode you can see it in green you can also see the little rocky surface because that's an indicator of where you can take it so i'm going to turn it to off for trail mode ev is electric vehicle for about a half a mile it can drive in just electric that's at low speeds push for normal 
We're gonna turn it to the right for sport. Okay, normal, sport mode. It says we're in sport mode. I'm gonna turn it to the left. Now we're in eco mode, so green, as you would imagine, might be better economy or efficiency. Environmentally friendly to you and your car. And then we're gonna push, that's right, we're gonna push it, we're gonna push trail mode. Ho, trail mode in the house. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. They're coming in hot. It's a goose party, woo! Early for Christmas, got their Christmas goose early. I guess we're gonna be hearing geese for the rest of the video. What am I gonna do, tell them to leave? Look at this profile here. When RAV4 was redesigned in 2019, it became sporty and rugged. It has a tall stance to it. But the XSC, the XSC is what makes it so unique. People talk about that one, it's polarizing. You probably love it, you might not like it. Some people don't like the gloss black accents. For example, like you see in these 18 inch sport alloy wheels, they're painted black, they're gloss black, and they match what you'd see along the rocker panel side here. They'd also match these fender flares. They also match these side mirrors, which have turn signal indicators. They also have blind spot monitor. In the back, you've got rear cross traffic alert. Ho! And then we've also got gloss black top. So it's a two-tone. That's the only choice you get with the RAV4 Hybrid. Now picture what this would look like in a lighter shade, like Silver Sky, a beautiful silver color, or Blizzard Pearl. We all know Blizzard Pearl. Boy, is that a dramatic contrast, right? Blizzard Pearl white, cream white, with gloss black accents, or Magnetic Gray, which will be a darker hue, similar to this one here, but boy, there's a bold contrast. This is probably the color, this blueprint that blends the most. Remember, if you're interested in this one, email me, toyotajeff1 at gmail. Now let's go. We've got our fuel door here. We're gonna be getting 40 combined, okay? 41 in the city, 38 on the highway. Then we've got smart key, push button start right here, and auto unlock, and auto lock. Then we got our turn signal here. It's all taking shape. It's all coming together. You guys wanna talk about the sport suspension here? It's gonna be really tough to show you a good look at it, but I'm gonna try. It's like Michael McDonald said, but I gotta try. All right, and then we can also go to the back as well. We just gotta get past my tripod. I don't know how we're gonna do that. So there you go. This absorbs impact when you're going on off-roading. So that's the benefit there. You do feel a little bit more, like I said, one with the road. You'll feel bumps and potholes a little bit, but it's really not bad at all. I think the drive is really great. You'll see two different chrome pipes in the back along with the gray bumper accent along with gloss black along the back. And then you'll see the backup camera right here. This is where the digital rear view mirror is. You can see that right there. See the camera? It's right there inside the windshield. Power back hatch. Let's look at that. So here's the camera and the cool part is it's not interfering with your vision in the least. It's improving it. Some people, it seems like a magnified digital picture in your rear view mirror. You might not like it at first. I do encourage you to try it to see if you'll get used to it and like it because you don't have people's heads or headrests in the way as you're trying to look out your back mirror. So there's the benefit there. We can shut it this way, but I'm going to shut it this way. I'm going to shut it this way. For cargo space, we've got the standard tonneau cover. It retracts. It actually fits underneath the floorboard if you want to. I'm not gonna do that for this exercise, but I am gonna lower the seats. So you can see what we're looking at here.
takes a little adjusting. I had to move the seat forward. And now it just has kind of a, a gradual slope up. Shouldn't interfere with loading stuff. And I can fit here. I mean, yeah, you don't want to be six foot five and try to do this, but I can do this. Tailgate party, crisscross applesauce. Now we're going to look at the temporary spare tire so this all-weather mat here it's real valuable because see it's lipped so things won't get wet and then drip out onto the lower part we also have cargo net 12 volt circular light and then we've got tie downs in four different parts four corner four square if you're back on the schoolyard if you're Billy Madison back in Miss Lippy's class, eat and paste. Okay, so there's the temporary. And then also see these cutouts, oops, sorry. See these cutouts right here? You just pop that off. And then you can put your tunnel cover in that slot in between. Ooh, fancy. Another reason why you might choose RAV4 hybrid or RAV4 gasoline or XSE hybrid is just the space in the back seat, it seems very comfortable. I like the seats a lot, actually. They're nice and soft, but forgiving. And then this one right here seems to have good headroom for me. I'm five foot eight. You can fit three across, maybe a smaller person in the middle seat. Remember, it's a small SUV, so it's not gigantically wide, but it fits three if you need it to. I would venture to say it could fit two car seats, maybe a booster, possibly three smaller car seats as well. I haven't tried three across maybe you have with your family and you can lend some observations as well but look here a good amount of leg room this is nice and then this seat right here it can recline or go forward a little bit so i can be forward or back just a little bit it's just another inch or two but just that little bit seems to make so much difference wouldn't you say and then i want you to tell me what you think do you wanna know how you know if you've got rain sensing wipers on a Toyota? It'll have that little cutout right there. You're gonna have that little tiny cutout and that's where it senses whether there's moisture on the windshield and it can activate the wipers. See now, there's not a power button here. You can go backward and forward with the back of the seat you can move it forward and backward, but that's about it on this particular one. Here's a smart storage shelf. Put your keys and wallet and things like that. All right. And then we've got this right here, USB port. And then as we're looking here, it's an eight way power adjustable seat. See all your controls, easy to get to. That's heated steering wheel. This is the de-icer function. There's where your fuel and hood release. And then this right here is a 4.2 inch multi-information display. Our controls. See the USB port down there and also the 12 volt circular port. It does have dual temperature controls. And then this is audio plus. You can upgrade to premium audio if you get that package specifically. And here's your hybrid meter to tell when you're using gasoline, electric motor. And then here's your digital mirror. That's really cool, you guys. Look at that. You get a detailed picture of what's behind you. Super easy to use. And then we've got a standard moonroof as well. And then as far as the visors here, they're lighted mirrors with slider. Let's take a look at the window sticker so you can tell specifics about the car and also pricing. XSE Hybrid Blueprint. This one's made in Canada. You can tell that because it has a two as the first digit. If it was Georgetown, Kentucky, it'd be a four. If it was Japan, it would be a J. Great safety ratings. Here's the fuel mileage I was telling you about. Can you imagine an SUV that averages 40 miles per gallon? Impressive most impressive we're going to look at standard equipment feel free to stop the video on your own so you can look and here's our exterior features interior the fender
factory MSRP is $34,750, which is not much more than the all-wheel drive version of each RAV4 hybrid equivalent model with gasoline. So the RAV4 hybrid version or equivalent, like an LE versus LE hybrid, it's going to be about a thousand or less difference. Of course, XSE is unique to just hybrid. Here's the weather package. We're going to get it delivered to the dealerships. Here's hood protection, all weather mats and cargo mat, the LED interior light package, otherwise it's going to be the yellow lights, door protection. And there you go, 37.4. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope this video was helpful. Again, please follow me on Instagram at Toyota Jeff one also on Facebook at Toyota Jeff. Thank you guys so much. You can check out more inventory. If you want to go to my dealer's website, Fred Anderson, Toyota.com hundreds of cars and trucks and SUVs on the ground and also coming in. It'll be a smooth, easy process. Thanks guys so much. See you next time.